the strategic use of armored fighting vehicles has been a major component of nearly all modern conflicts. In this episode, we look at how tank warfare has evolved into its current applications. During the First World War, stalemate on the Western Front created the need for an armored, all-terrain vehicle that was capable of breaking through the enemy's defensive lines. As a result, tank warfare was born. Introduced onto the battlefield in 1960, the tanks of World War I essentially took the place of horse-mounted cavalry units. Their role was to charge across an open field, break through an enemy defenses, and disrupt the lines so that infantry units could follow in their wake. So in this way, Tanks were initially used not as weapons in their own right, but rather as means to support the infantry, which was still seen as the primary fighting force. In World War II, tank tactics started to evolve as military commanders began to adopt the idea of using the tank as a primary weapon. This concept was embraced early on by the German military, who employed it to great effect in their Blitzkrieg campaigns. By deploying their tanks moments after an initial air assault softened up a target area, the German military was able to literally roll over their objective in just a few weeks' time. These early German successes were, of course, recognized by the Allies, who also began to place greater emphasis on tank warfare. During the North African Campaign, which is the United States' first ground engagement against the Nazis, the use of tanks as a striking echelon greatly influenced the outcome of many major battles. One of the most important was the Second Battle of El Alamein, where more than 1,000 British tanks, working in close conjunction with the infantry, artillery, and air power, crushed the Axis forces and helped turn the campaign into an Allied victory. Later on, tanks such as the M4 Sherman and the M5 Stuart were deployed en masse on the European front, where they continued to function as a primary vanguard for ground forces. Today, large-scale tank warfare is virtually unheard of. In fact, the last major tank battle took place more than 24 years ago during the first Gulf War. Known as the Battle of 73 Easting, 12 American M1A1s destroyed 28 Iraqi tanks, 16 personnel carriers, and 30 trucks in less than a half hour. The reason why these types of engagements are now rare is because most modern conflicts take place in urban settings where narrow streets and combined quarters are not conducive to large-scale tank battles. As a result, tank warfare tactics have largely transitioned back to providing support for infantry units. During the Battle of Fallujah in 2004, for example, tanks were often called upon to provide fire support for advancing ground elements or to help breach barriers like walls and gates. Over the past 100 years, tank warfare has adapted to fit many different environments. How do you think tanks will be used in future conflicts? Will they continue to provide support for ground elements? Or do you think they will eventually become obsolete? Push your thoughts and comments below.